us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So this is the sixth episode in this a series of episodes where we are looking at the 2020 internal science paper 2 extensively. So if you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel. Remember the first episode focused on section A in details. So the entire section A was answered and explained in detail to ensure that you understand on how to answer these questions and giving you more than enough information to prepare you to ace your G12 exams. So let us look at now this question extensively. B5, a mixture of copper to oxide powder and cork or carbon was put in a test tube and heated as shown in the diagram below. So we have the test tube, then we have mixture of copper, two oxide and carbon powder. Then we have, of course, the source of it here. Then question A, Roman numeral one, describe what would be observed as the mixture is heated. So as the mixture is being heated, what is going to happen is this copper two oxide, which is solid, is going to react with carbon, which is solid because it's in the powder form. So the powder form just helps us to increase the surface area. Then because carbon is more reactive than copper, it's going to displace copper in the oxide. So we're going to have a single displacement. So we're going to remain with copper, which is solid, then plus carbon monoxide, which is gas. So what will be observed is this product will remain in the test tube. The carbon monoxide is going to escape that. So what will be observed now is a reddish brown, which is in copper, reddish brown, solid would remain in the test tube. So this is the copper solid. Then Loma number two, write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction that occurs in the test tube. What is going to happen in this case? We have one copper, one copper, then we have one carbon, one carbon, then one oxygen, one oxygen. So this equation is balanced already. So what you just need to do is just come and light this one here, then you're good to go. So that's what you need to do. Let me just maybe light it. So we have copper oxide, which is solid, then plus carbon, which is, then we get copper solid, then plus carbon monoxide gas, like that. Once you do that, you're good to go. Let us look at the next question. Question B, what type of reaction occurs between copper two oxide and then carbon? Give a reason. So in this case, in this context, we are talking about is it oxidation? Or is it reduction? So oxidation occurs when there is a gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen. Then reduction is the loss of oxygen or gain of hydrogen. So take note of these differences. So you need to know these two types of reaction. So in this case, when we react copper oxide with carbon, copper oxide is losing oxygen. So copper oxide is being reduced. So this is a reduction reaction. So you see reduction in terms of copper. So reduction reaction. This is because 
copper to oxide is losing oxygen in the reaction so once you do this you are good to go so take note of the differences between oxidation and the reduction once you you do that you'll be able to answer any question regarding this topic so thank you for joining me on this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at question b6 thank you viewers for watching this episode if you find this video to be helpful please consider liking and also if you're new to this channel consider subscribing by liking subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility a simple like from you makes a big difference so once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got so much content so we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions we've got a physics we've got a chemistry then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects and this is at the best a section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic